Use Euler's method to approximate this differential function dy dx equals negative x over y for five iterations given the following parameters y of 0 equals 4, or in other words you are given a data point 0 comma 4, and that the step size h equals 0 0.1. So to analyze this function with this approach, what you have to do is make this little table for n, x of n, and y of n. I'll draw a little line here for each of these. So what we mean by five iterations is that starting at n equals zero, we will do five steps. So one, two, three, four, five steps. Now we will base off x of n, or rather x of n plus one, given the following formula, where x of n plus one equals x of n, so the previous iteration, plus h, or the step size of 0 0.1. That's it. However, for y of n plus one, that one equals the previous value of y, so y of n, plus h, the same interval size, times f prime of xn comma yn, where f prime is the same exact notation as dy dx, and x of n and y of n are representing this function, negative x over y, from the previous interval. By that, you just plug in the previous numbers and multiply that by h. So let's start off with x of n, where we know the first value of x is 0, given this data point here. Now to get x of n plus 1, which would be 0 plus 1, or x of 1, you add 0, which was the previous value of x, plus the step size, 0 0.1. 0 plus 0 0.1 is 0 0.1. Now doing the same thing, the next value, you have to add 0 0.1 plus 0 0.1, which becomes 0 0.2. And don't get confused, we're not doubling this. We have to now take the previous value again of 0 0.2 and add 0 0.1 to it once more, becoming 0 0.3 and so on and so forth, where this is a fairly constant value. See, y of n now becomes a little more difficult to calculate, where we do know the first value of the iteration of 0, 0,4, it starts off at 4. Now, using this formula, we have to take the previous value, y of n, where now n is 0, so 4, plus h, the step size of 0 0.1, times f prime of xn comma yn, where dy dx is negative x over y. Negative x of n, x of 0, rather, is 0, right? Because x of n equals 0, so it would be negative 0 over y of 0, which was 4, which obviously turns into 0. Multiplying that by 0 0.1 is 0, so it's just 4 plus 0, which eventually equals 4. So it's the same value. So we can just see that the data point goes from 0, 0,4 to 0, 0.1 comma 4. So we're just shifting right a bit. That's it. Following the same trend, we start off with 4 once more. It's the previous value of y of n, which is now n equals 1. So y of n equals 4 plus the same step size, 0, 0.1 times now f prime of x of 1 comma y of 1, where x of 1 is 0, 0.1. So negative 0 0.1, we're still following the same function, over 4 once more. However, this time this isn't 0, you're actually going to have to consider this. And obviously based on the negative sign, it will decrease a little bit. So putting that into a calculator, you get a very close number that is 3.9975. Try your best not to round this and keep it to the nearest, say, 4 decimals. Now, y of 2 has become 3.9975. We have to plug that back into this formula for the next iteration. So 3.9975 plus h times, now we take x of 2, which was negative, putting that in the front, 0 0.2, over y of 2, which is 3.9975. Plugging that into the calculator, you get 3.9925. So it is decreasing a little bit each time. 
following the same pattern once more, 3.9925, which was the previous value of y, plus 0 0.1 times negative x of 3 is 0 0.3 over the new value of y, which was 3.9925, gives us in the calculator 3.9848. So you can see it's starting to decrease a little more each time. And for the fifth and final iteration, we take our value of y of 4, 3.98498, plus 0 0.1 times negative 0 0.4 over the previous value, 3.98498. And this will give us our final y of 5 equal to 3.97. Four, nine, five. So there isn't a single answer you box out. It's just a continuous interval of data points. This is a very good approach to approximating first order ordinary differential equations. So this entire table serves as your answer. If you have any questions, please leave in the comments below and good luck.